Hi, this is Pat Love <clears throat> with Pat's Two Cents. Excuse me. I think I have a prophetic word for somebody. Now, I don't know who this is. And I have to tell you that the dream I really believe is a warning. There's somebody out there who is, has been saved a while. You know the Lord. And there's a person of the opposite sex who lives close by. Now, you are either widowed or, that's male or female, or you are single, whatever the case may be. You're not too young either. And there's a man who wears a curly wig. Now, this was one of the details that really stuck out to me. And he was admiring two of your lamps. I don't know if you just got them or what. Now, this man had a friend who was with him. I don't know who that was. But in this dream, the man has the hots for you. You're trying to live saved, but secretly you desire him too. You know it's not a right type of a relationship because he'll want all the bells and whistles to come with it. Let's get it on. You get me. So you're trying to stay celibate and live a holy life. But here's the dangerous part. You allow this man to come into your house uninvited. When he sees your home and your curtains are open and your doors cracked, whatever, he walks in. He feels that he has that right, that freedom to do so. What you are doing in essence is allowing the enemy, not calling him the devil, but you are allowing the enemy to come in and begin to meddle with your resolve with the Lord. Why? Because you have not set boundaries for that man to know he has no right to just walk in when he good and well pleases. You know it's not a good uh, prospect of a relationship because he is not saved and you are. And you know the Bible says, be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. The Bible also says, don't cast your pearls before swine and don't give that which is holy unto the dogs. But you're allowing your door to open. And you have given this man permission, which means you're given the devil legal right to come in and meddle with you. Set boundaries now. Because this man is starting to tease you and toy with you and play with your legs and do little come on gestures with your body. He hasn't touched anything too personal yet. But my fear for you is if you keep allowing it before you know it, you'll be in the bed with this man because you miss having sex. You're determined to live right but you miss it, and this man rings your chimes. And if you're not careful, you will be in a relationship that will spiral out of control, and who knows where your stand with God will be if you allow this man all the way in, in every way, shape, and form of that sentence, all the way in. Be careful. God bless you.